balanced merge or KV merge. Before going into KV merge, we first need to know what external sorting is. External sorting. External sorting is used to sort large files, that is files which are stored in external storage devices such as tapes, disk or drums. Now it is device dependent because it is it uses the tapes or disk for sorting. Now in external sorting we cannot sort the entire file together as such in the internal memory. So we can take only a small block of records from the file and sort it internally using some internal sorting techniques in the internal memory of a computer. So these patches after sorting we will call it as runs. So runs are the sorted batches of records. So after creating runs we will try to merge them, merge them uh, one by one and we will get the entire file sorted. This is how external sorting works. Now the common principle behind external sorting is first perform internal sorting batch wise and generate runs and after generating the runs merge the runs generated and write it back to the external storage device. Now take two runs at a time from the uh, two or more uh, runs at a time from the uh, disk from the external storage device and merge them until we get a we get the we get a single run which is which has the sorted file in it so this is the general principle behind external sorting now what is balanced merge or kv merging so to perform kv merging we need 2k tapes that is if we are going to perform a two-way merge, we need 2K, that is 4K, 4 tapes for performing the merge or for sorting. So this is mainly focused on tape sorting. That's why tape, the, uh, the numbers are represented using tapes. So for KV merge, we need 2K tapes. Now let's see this with the help of an example. Here, here I have taken... Uh, 13 records so, uh, to, uh, to understand the KV merge clearly I have taken small number of records so that we can see each step and how the records are sorted so I have taken a file with 13 records um, in real uh, real world it's not this small amount it will be like uh, 10,000 or 50,000 records in a file so here for simplicity and to understand the concept clearly I have taken a small number of records okay so we have 13 records these are the rec uh, these are the key values of the records in the file and we are going to perform a two-way merge a two-way balanced merge here so to perform a two-way merge we need 4k 4k that is uh, four tapes for performing the sort so let t1 t2 t3 and t4 be the four working tapes now the steps are the first step since it is a tape sorting we have to rewind the tapes each time to read it from the beginning okay to read or write it from the beginning so the first step is uh, to rewind all the tapes and mount the tapes T0, T1, T2 onto the tape drive where T0 is the tape which contains the uh, files so which are to be sorted ok so we will read the uh, records from T0 and uh, distribute it in T1 and T2 so let's see how it is distributed now in the phase 1 with the second step which is a phase 1 read blocks of three records where three is the capacity we we have assumed that the internal memory can hold only three records so the just at a time we read three records from t0 and send it to the internal memory and perform some internal sorting to generate the runs 
okay so uh, we take re three records from t0 at each time perform internal sorting and generate runs and distribute the runs into tapes t1 and t2 alternatively so the first uh, first block will contain the records 81 94 and 11 which will be internally sorted uh, and uh, run the first run will be generated and which is 11 81 94 it will be written to tape t1 now take the sec second block which contains these three numbers after run generation it will be 12 35 96 and it will be written to tape t2 now like this all the rest of the blocks will be taken and runs will be generated and written alternatively on tapes t1 and t2 now the next step step 3 now dismount tape t t0 because we now we don't need tape 0 we just we have or we have generated the runs and written in tapes t1 and t2 so now uh, rewind tapes t1 and t2 mount the four working tapes onto the drives and here t1 and t2 are the input tapes and t3 and t4 are the output tapes that is t1 and t2 will act as the input tapes since t1 and t2 has the input values now and t3 and t4 will act, act as the output tapes now in the next step which is a phase 2 we will merge the runs on t1 and t2 using two way merge and obtain a, a larger uh, run and distribute it on the output tapes t3 and t4 alternatively ok now let's look the first run let's read the first runs from t1 and t2 so the first runs from t1 and t2 are these two so we will take these two into internal memory perform merge sort and return a single run which will contain all these three records in sorted order and it will be written to the uh, tape t3 so t3 gets a first run which is a larger run now like this take the next two runs merge it and write it on t4 and then take the next two runs here we have only one run the other in the other case it is empty so just write 15 as such in t3 so like this we will in the phase 2 in phase 2 we will get t3 and t4 with uh, the merged runs now again rewind all the tapes now t3 and t4 will act as the input tape and t1 and t2 will act as the output tape now merge the runs on t3 and t4 and write it on t1 and t2 alternatively so it will be like this after that again rewind all the tapes now t1 and t2 will act as input tape and t3 will be the output tape now we need only one output tape because we have only one run each in t1 and t2 so after merging we will get the uh, get a single run with all the records which are in sorted order so this is how kway merge or balance search is performed